I met and became friends with Dave Schmaltz in 1990. He was a video assist operator and at the time had done five or six movies. Now, 20 years later, he's done a hundred movies. I recently caught up with him on location where he was shooting a TV commercial. He's done several hundred of those. Hey, my first movie job was because the best man at my wedding was producing a movie. So I've been doing video assist for about 26 years. I've done about 100 movies. Big ones like all the Spider-Mans. Uh, worked on Pirates of the Caribbean, number two and three. Um, Indiana Jones. And little ones like um, Pineapple Express, and Seventeen Again, and movies like that. Video Assist is to record everything onto computers that is being shot. All the film cameras have a little video camera inside of them. And that allows me to record onto computers what it is that we're shooting. So that's the basis of it. I create a library of the entire film. And because I was good at it, I kept getting jobs, and then it became you know, a way to support the family and pay the mortgages and put the kids through college. And at first, I kind of resented that it wasn't a creative job, because I'd been creative as a stage director. But eventually, I got to really like the job. I like the people that I work with. I like the places we do our work. And I like, uh, you know, I like the challenges involved with the job. You always got to be paying attention. You got to know what the cues are for when you have to do your thing. And you got to know what the cues are for waiting, you know, and, and just letting other people do what they do. The least favorite part of the job is the long hours, the 15 to 18 hour days. I can never get a jump on wrap because everything I have out is being used till the very last shot. And then very often I'm playing back after the last shot so everybody else is done before I am. So I'm usually the last one off the clock. And I hate leaving home before everybody's up. And I hate getting home after everyone's going to bed. It's like you know, when you do a movie, you don't get to see any, you know, your family or anybody. Second AD said, okay, here's the scoop. You're supposed to play back for one person and one person only on this set. And I said, okay, who is it? And she said, well, Cameron Diaz. And I said, well, okay, I can do that. <laughs> so for about two weeks, I just played back for Cameron and her friends. You know, I took my monitors, I put it in the corner of the set, and uh, Cameron came over. She was really nice, and all of her friends were nice, and just played back for them. And then about a year later, a couple years later, I show up on Charlie's Angels, uh, as a second guy, and Cameron goes, oh, Dave, and she gives me a big old hug, and she's really nice. My favorite part of the job is helping everybody. You get to help everybody on the crew. The makeup people will come wanting to know how a person was made up in a previous scene so they can match it. The hair people come, they want to know if the part's on this side or that side. Uh, the lighting people want to know where the key light's coming from. You know, everybody comes to you at one point or another just wanting answers to questions about what's been shot before so they can match it with the shot we're currently setting up. As impressive as Dave's Hollywood resume is, it pales against his qualities as a friend. He's helped me move. He offers to read every one of my books and scripts and provides notes that make them better. At my wedding, when the church wouldn't allow a video camera in the chapel, Dave went up in the balcony and videoed our ceremony. He's one of the best friends I've ever had. Congratulations on 100 movies, buddy.